Today, first off, we're going to be looking at Not For Broadcast, which uh, has been in early access for a little bit of time and is going to be releasing uh, in 1.0 in the next coming days. Not For Broadcast is a game in which you run a broadcast show and you bleep stuff out, you switch cameras, there's a bunch of adult humor that goes on, so it should be a lot of fun. I was not expecting when I downloaded this game for it to be like 60 gigabytes at first, but then I thought about it afterwards and I was like, well, it's literally full of a shit ton of videos, I'm sure, and I'm not surprised that it's as big as it is. But I was not, after after like downloading games that are like 50, uh, 70 megabytes and one gigabyte, and then I'm like, all right, time to install this one. And it's like 60. I'm like, oh. Oh, my camera is being weird. We're going to have to... Ah, because I have 1,000 FPS. We're going to have to limit that. That's a little bit too much FPS. Come on. Should also make sure that I am properly game capturing this. And turn that off. There it goes. Now we're at four FPS. Or go jumping up and down everywhere. Updating saved game save games. Okay. Maybe that's why. Yeah, now we're at 60. Alright. Welcome to Press Build for Not for Broadcast. A lot of this build is feature complete and should be provided you with a unique experience. There are still some polishes we'll be making for a final release. Uh, this will include color grading for footage in episode 3, visual polishes, polishes for headline images and adverts, extra sound effects footage, and trying to catch any spelling slash grammar punctuation mistakes in the subtitles between level incidents and formatting the end titles. As we also proceed through playtesting, we find extra tutorials. Okay. Well, we hope that, but not for God, it makes you laugh, sweat, and think. All right. Uh, story mode. Experience story without stress. Broadcasting mechanics are off. A balance for non-broadcasting mechanics and viewer ratings to provide a reasonable channel. Yeah, yeah, broadcaster. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. User clock the time your ad breaks perfectly. Mm. Ad breaks. Never pushing an ad button. Hi, David. I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. I wonder if these are devs. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You uh -huh. want to keep the viewers going up and not down. All right. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, yeah, sure, I'm sure I will. 
These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. Fan, vision mixer, VHS rack, speakers, sound desk. You can see okay. on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Yeah, we put all those in. Right, won't be long now till the signal starts coming through from the station. Stay on your toes. All the bigwigs are in tonight because of the election, so we better not make any mistakes. Oh! Bigwigs! And you thought this would be a good time to not show up, because you got busy. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Pouring a mayonnaise? Yeah, don't see if you make me go out and pasture. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. It's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Going in five, four. But now... It's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Why did it turn red? I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main stories tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be to throw the news titles on screen too. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Honest Andy's totally independent. This is going to. I feel like this is going to get overwhelming really quickly. Sports fans. But we'll be fine. As popular footballer Johnny Hams leaves, wins Sports Personality of the Year, and a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Bonderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic... Right. Button That's two, in three, National two, one, now. A bit late there, mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. Alright. Oh my, look at all the makeup they're putting on him. I think I wouldn't have- was he sweating that much that he has to reapply his makeup already? Damn! Here it comes. Switch to screen one. Lovely, mate. But first, the votes are in and it's a decisive win for advance. We often get a bit of interference around this time, mate. Keep your eye on the machine at the bottom right. Use that slider that's flashing or your scroll wheel to move the wave up and down, keeping the green bit in the white bit. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to advances overwhelming this is, mandate, but have yet Is this something up. people really had to do then to make sure their fucking right, waves were staying okay on their the on their the the fucking TV? Sure you Holy shit. Early, we'll it's so fine. annoying. Now the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one and the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. To hear the co-leader's acceptance speech. And three, two, one, advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill after the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh, I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. That's all right, he doesn't remember anything I tell him. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Mm, I'll beat you. No. Hmm. Break. You're doing great, mate. But Segment grade A plus. There we go, dude. This next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. Mm. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. Please aren't my One, please try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long. Ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience want to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be 
fine. It's not as complicated What in the world? It kind of... You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it I haven't like seen those. a commercial like this in a long time. Now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. It's like a minute ad. Going in five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first, get ready to go to Megan on screen four. Is here the star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare to the Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is among us. Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say, having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yes. Well, as I said to Peter at the rap, that's... Oh, my God. Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. <laughs> I'd suggest yeah. such intense focus. What a wild ride this has been. What a wild and do you know what, Megan? This has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last Star Wars. And I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, honestly, who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. So All right, well, I mean, we're not doing terribly. Really Get back to who's talking. Awards, although, hey, could tell me what to do. do right. the place on my Maybe if you wanted to do this job, you could have came over here yourself. Speaker, I'm not doing it. Shut up, bro! Fucking, quit talking to me, you're distracting me. Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan. And not easy to answer. Like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will bleed. And often, that's how it feels, doesn't it? That's how it doesn't it? Bleeding, doesn't it? Giving, suffering for one's audience. Suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference it makes. I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the people. The little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well now you're asking. Historic election result. <laughs> Why is he talking like that? Is the word. Well, <laughs> It's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. Oh, oh well, don't worry, he won't do it again. She did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. Medicated, which opens next week. Right, they swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Exciting stuff. Oh, looks like Blunderclatch is losing it in the studio, but we ain't got time for that. There's more interference What the fuck? Coming. Yeah, he's it's freaking out. Look at him. This time, mate. Use that little flashing joystick to the left of the knob, or hold down your middle mouse or alt on your keyboard, and as the frequency changes, match it to the white bit by dragging right. You think I don't know that? Now we're going to squash the frequency back by dragging left. No one has been muscled. Dr. Lance to you, Miss Flanagan. Damn. Chubbly, mate. Next, we're going to change the amplitude. 
Same as last time, little joystick will hold on to a middle mouse and this time push upwards. Upwards, mate, upwards. But I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. No, it's not. Right, now let's match it back by going downwards. The virus. Oh my god, how long is this gonna go become straight? This formula. This formula, this, this is the key. Yes. Not bad. You'll get it with practice. What do you mean? That was 10 out of 10. We have to ask ourselves. We have to ask ourselves. At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count you in. Right, I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. As you've probably noticed, the broadcast screen, here, is about two seconds behind the master screen, here. Uh -huh. When someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up, like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the bleep uh. button or the space bar on your keyboard for as long as the swear word lasts. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you've got to do is hold it down while oh, the red that makes it is over the red line. Simple. That makes it much easier. If you do it by eye, you'll have to take your eye off the screens. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Oh, okay. Real professionals. Screen, a little bit below the master screen. Let's set it now. This is a crazy deal. We need a pill. You don't want no lame ass chair. As you turn it up, you hear the advert getting louder. Good. You're set to start censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it, and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold it down. Remember to select screen one now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the broadcast to go live. That's too late. You can use the number buttons on your keyboard. Once I was just about to try that. Seriously, five, four, three. Welcome back, and I'm told we can now go Welcome live back. to advanced headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Oh shit, he's pissed. Shall I start? Go for it, Pat. Shall I start? Okay. Uh, thank you all for coming, and well, where do I start? What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick they had against us for you, the people. Nice. You saw right through their shit. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. Yeah, there we go, dude. We're hitting it. Solid. Solid. Memorably put. Nailed it. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is that reaction. you need a party, you need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future, a better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shit in pants on and opening their dusty checkbooks. Again, not in Hey, I've tried my best, bro. When we came out here to address the nation, we used our... Oh my god, I really hope that he stops. To pass the assets and wealth... Giving me stuff. I can't wait for him to stop out of this tutorial area. Every person in the country... It's very distracting. You know this sort of... Probably you, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. Snobs? Today, is a bad word? We revoked your passport. What? You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, 
You're gonna pay up. You're gonna pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly huh? fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions. But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ferret shite. So to you posh twats. The people who pay you a pittance to surf and drink in their Just private clubs. The, the people whose children Chill. you raise. So it's they've got enough. time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say to you. It ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. Good, good, good. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Go back to the person yes. talking. Oh my god, bro, chill. And tomorrow, we'll start making it fair again. Just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, and until then, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> well, an interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of Advance. And our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully, we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, uh, most of them. Be in trouble. So, as the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under Advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful I'm night. Right, looks like you've got it now. Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. Oh, wow. This guy just quit? This is some weird fever dream. Ooh, look at that. That looks good. I'll see you tomorrow night. Not coming for a drink? No, I've got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. See? A see? I don't think it's C. Look at look at my green. How is this a segment grade C? Look at I'm only like three marks away from being maximum. Oh my god, this is bullshit. When the program's finished, you'll get a broadcast report. It's three pages. This first page shows you how well the broadcast on overall B. Remember, grades mean bonuses. I missed like one curse word. The cutting? Yeah, yeah maybe. Broke, broke as for. But you don't own any fucking shares. You're a cleaner for God's sake. So why would you care? Damn, dude. Broke as poor. Yeah, it could have been that. I suppose I did do some back and forth cuts a lot, a little bit, to try to get reactions, but. Hell yeah. What the boss thinks. What is this, the Illuminati? Alright, mate. Welcome to the archive. This is where you can have a quick look back at what you've done and how it looked to the public. There's three sections broadcast, rushes, and adverts. Let's start with broadcast. Click on it now. Over on the left, that's all the broadcasts that you've done. Click on any one of them and hit load tape. Once it's finished loading, you can use the rewind and fast forward at the bottom there to help you get to the meal you want to see. But before that, let's take a look at what's coming up later on tonight on Channel 1. At 7 o'clock, it's the same final of the quotation game. Oh my god. I forgot it's a VHS. At 7 o'clock, it's the same final of the quotation game. At 7 o'clock, it's the same final of the quotation game. Jeremy Donaldson, the National. I really care about that. Rushes and let's have a look at those. Right, this is the rushes route. It's pretty simple. The four screens you can see, they're going to show you the four signals you got from the studio during the actual broadcast. Difference is you can mute any combination of them so you can have a listen to the stuff you weren't allowed to show. Select the broadcast and give it a go. And when you're oh. done listening to the backstage secrets, hit back. Like, 
wasn't working. It was me. I was the dum dum. These aren't my cards. Please tell me these aren't my cards. No, they're the right ones, apparently. Oh, but this gives me nothing, Jenny. They must see that. I oh, know. I think they think he won't have anything to say. Oh, for God's sake, come on. It's a huge day. <laughs> He's not an... Absolute bunker. I don't care, Rob. I'm not doing it. I agreed to do one beastly interview a day. I made that completely clear when we started. Check my contract. Hi, I'm Megan. Oh, piss off. You're on thin bloody ice, Rob. Holy what kind of fucking Holy kind of Is that supposed to be a sandwich? Wait, Where's the actual... Where's the center Why part of it? Look, it's just a piece of lettuce. Thank you so much. For Ten seconds, everybody. Yeah. What a douche nozzle. Getting in five, four, three... Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first, our very own culture reporter, Megan Wolf, is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare to the Shopbot films. I'm very excited to be joined today by none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Look at his face. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with What's you he doing? Is one of the greatest joys of What's he fucking. <laughs> May I say, having you. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> he hates him. So, you've just finished filming your latest movie, which is called The Medicaid. Okay. I don't think there was anything else. This is cool. I actually, this is more fun than actually running the game is going and hearing what they said behind the cameras. Oh, wait, wait. Exciting stuff. Let's take And we're out. Rob, get the car. Oh, we're out of here. Mr. Blundercatch. No! Mr. I'm shutting this down. What kind of operation are you people running? Mr. Here? Blundercatch, I understand you're upset, Up but we can... Upset! You don't know the half of it. Rob! Yes. I'll be at the door seat. Send up a bottle of scotch and a whole ham. A whole it's ham? In contract. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, ju I just had to. I had to. Oh, go on then. Say it. What? I told you so. Your hair look nice. See, this is why you're single. <laughs> you should go cam two together when they speak to each other. And say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not worried about getting like amazing scores or anything, but this part is cool. I like this. Let me go to the headlines. Stop. Play the headlines. And then I want to see what they were saying when the election stuff was going on. Wait, what? What'd she say about mayonnaise? Pour the mayonnaise. You don't see if he makes me come out and pass Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Going in five, four. Good evening. What's he got to say? Huh? Seriously, that prick blonder clutch on election night? Yeah, Megan's pretty pissed off too. I'm not surprised. The bloke wouldn't know democracy if he's shutting his cornflakes. Yeah, but he's hot though. I suppose so, if he knows oxygen thieves. Ten seconds, everybody. Your fragility is leaking. <laughs> Going in five, four, three. But for Oh shit, wait, 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 back. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill after the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh. I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Oh, wait, we, we heard this. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so that's all of that. All right, I want to hear what they were saying when they were doing the interview thing, though. Not the, not the interview, the politic thing. That was great. I it looked like there was a lot being said there. Apparently, he's been drinking since lunchtime. Christ, he's a liability in the best of times. I know. God help whoever has to bleep this. Ten seconds, everybody! I mean, a lawyer and a TV personality running the country. Seriously? We've had worse. Five, four, three... <laughs> a liar and a TV personality running the country. Oh, man. I don't know who that was. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, <laughs> are about to make their acceptance address. This is so good. Hit the sauce this morning. It's so green. <laughs> Is he crying? You <laughs> drink his water like that. That's how I drink my coffee. You just yank it off it. Just make sure it spills everywhere. <laughs> no, party, team spirit. Okay, that's him laughing. Before we came out here for assassination, we used our executive powers to pass the Attic and Mouth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in this country who is welcome to the ministry. You know the sort of. You rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their cases, community. Tomorrow, you will be introduced. Oh, what? Uh, so, all you have to do is going to your personal limitations. I've got nowhere to hide. That is serious. We've revoked your passport. Whoa, you what? Now that is serious. You want to leave like you're threatening me. He took away. Yeah, it's stopping people moving. That is outrageous. Whoever. Whatever they are. I can't. <coughs> huh. This is so cool, man. I feel like a spy when I'm listening to this. Looking at these other videos kind of reminds me of the game, um, I don't know if you guys have ever played it called Her Story. Her Story was like a game where it was like two, it was like a, like people who were twins and they were trying to figure out which twin fucking committed the murder. Oh man, that shit was so good. It's very difficult to really try to, I don't even, I don't even think I found like even like half of the clips. Uh, before I tried to decide who it was. Yeah, dude, she was. One of those twins was fucking, fucking crazy. And this kind of reminds me of it in a way, just because like, it's like a video format game, and I feel like I'm finding secrets in, in the uh, rush room thing, one of this back line of stuff that's not heard on the radio, or heard on the television broadcast. I like this a lot. The people whose children you raised. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. I must have this to say to you. It ends today. We are coming to your right. sports cars and your rackets and your bikes. Yes, ends. yeah, no, sir. Okay. We will put the wealth of this country back in the hands of the people who created it. 
Is okay. advance and our so what's this about the adverts what is this exercise with him this is just all the we can just look at the adverts for that day okay oh i guess i could have looked at the other ones that didn't play i can see what they were i suppose i can look at them later this is like I understand why this game was so big. There's a lot of video things to look at and stuff that's like, you know, hidden behind the thing and... <laughs> Broke ass poor. Day three, unexpected form. You arrive home and post to the map being noticed that usual. one level says the team wants to know you. I have a cat! Look at it! Curious gets the better of you and you open it. Why am I so slow? Just making broke ass poor me. Am I not eating? Advancement questionnaire. Advan uh, that's probably like the company. Okay, that was the company symbol. Okay. Oh, I have to click on it? I'm so dumb. I'm just sitting here looking at this, scrolling by. <laughs> uh, asking for information about citizens. The first page on it your name, Alex Winston, your spouse, Sam uh, Winston, uh, your, ch your children, Charles Winston. And Susie Winston. Well, you mean uh, the question left you there? Uh, they appear to be mandatory upon starting a new job. You would be productive and get to work immediately. A colleague in a different department has confided in you that they've been taking home confidential information, and now a file of minor importance has gone missing. You would. A report the violation. If confidential shit stealing from the company. I'm more than I'm more than willing to like if you steal company time, hey fucking you wanna poop? Go ahead. Be my guest. You wanna be a lazy? As long as the work gets done and I don't get fucked, fine. But you gonna steal shit? No. Nope. And especially since you you can steal it, but don't tell me. Don't fucking tell me. And don't let me see. I don't care if it happens. Just I just don't wanna know. An entire department was fired for consistent underperformance. Your process put you in a new targets, in a place of new targets, and that are significantly higher than previous. You would. And leave work. I mean, leave work on time, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bro. You, you're gonna, you're gonna fucking put me under the microscope. I'm not gonna work hard because you're an asshole. I'm gonna do my job and I'm gonna leave. The annual company barbecue and your new family have been invited. As you're looking for a nice day with friends and friends, you're washing your hair that day. You can go if you're free, but you wouldn't mind missing it. Have been practicing your co works and think you'll win a talent contest this year? I mean, like, yeah, I'll go with my family, we get free food. That's fucking great. I'll do that. Uh, after a long successful career, you're now working a new speech. You list your achievements and good memories, give an honest review of the pros and cons, focus on the issues, refuse to attend, I don't show up to my own retiree party. That's fucking great. Uh... Fuck it, dude, I'm retiring. Fuck it, focus on the issues. I'm like, hey, we have these issues you should handle before I leave, bro. 
after I leave. Um, in your spare time, you like to relax and listen to things, make models, attend political rallies. I don't fucking go outside. <laughs> Encourage and support your children with hobbies. I feel like that's something that I would do. Your ideal holiday getaway would be surrounded by nature, natural beauty, getting away from the strain of day life, exploring somewhere unfamiliar, and discovering new experiences, challenges, a structured day out theme park, hell no. A romantic getaway, uh, I think I would unfamiliar discovering new experiences because I would like to go to places and try new food. Obviously, I fucking love food. Uh, so I'd probably do this. The most important that the government keeps people... Fucking happy. If people aren't happy, that's a problem. You could say equal, but I mean, there's always gonna be people who are fucking make more money, right? That's not a big deal. It's a problem when it becomes that they make thousands and thousands and thousands of times. And other people on the other side are very unhappy. Right? That's when it becomes a problem. It's on your name. late Sam and, and the kids have gone to bed you're just drying up your favorite coffee you're just drying your favorite coffee cup oh, what am I 70 a worn out souvenir of your first trip together the vids branded and your goofy face still makes you smile knock on the window brings you back to reality I know what I do with my coffee cup I drink it I, it sits on my desk all day I wake up the next morning I wash it and I fill it back up with more coffee <laughs> Uh, in the garden? Ah, oh, nice, a garden. I would like a garden one day. Bunch of uh, neon green suitcase and a... Is Chris Sam's sibling? What, me? What am I doing there? As soon as you let them in, they said they visibly stressed. Chris takes a deep breath. So sorry for bursting in it's so late, Alex. Chris stammers, but... I need a favor. You're the only one I can ask. No problem, what's going on? You must have seen all this crazy advanced stuff. The Assets and Wealth Act, they're calling it. Taking people's hard-earned money to fund the lazy. It's bullshit! I've never seen Chris this agitated. I'm not saying the top 1% or whatever don't have stupid money. Chris adds hastily, but they can afford it. People like me gonna lose everything that's awful I'm not sure how I can help you're always so well off, the well-off one in the family you're gonna take everything Alex everything I've spent my life building I can't let it happen I need a favor Chris eyes the floor eyes flying the tortoise I need to borrow your passport my passport I've taken my half of my bloody country's and half the bloody country, but people always say that you and I look so similar, so... Because it's pacing now. I need to leave before it's too late. Once I'm out, me and my money will be safe. But I need to go now before they freeze my accounts. Please, Alex, I wouldn't ask you if I had any other choice. Should, what? Like, you're getting arrested? Or what's happening here, dude? There's gotta be something going on. You're joking, right? I've always done the right by you and Sam. Treated your children like their own. Does that mean nothing to you? Oh my god, dude. Fucking chill out, alright? You fucking take my passport, you fucking punk ass bitch. Get out of my house. Me. <laughs> you climb the cliffs into your bedroom. Careful not to wake Sam, who's cooning in the day. You open the wardrobe. It's Alex, what's going on? I'm like, Chris is downstairs. They're leaving the country and they need my passport to do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to my wife. Is that a what? They're leaving. Things are really bad. Apparently, they're fine, but if they can leave, Chris, can I, according to Chris, I'm not so sure. I don't even know if I really want to give up my passport. This must be tearing Sam apart. Their family's always been close. You know what I would do, Sam finally says, but it's not my passport. I can't ask you to give it up. Alright, I'll do it. Family comes first. I'll be back up in a minute. Okay, so she's encouraging me to do it. Close the safe and head downstairs and find Chris at the table fidgeting. They jump as soon as you enter. So you have it? 
Yes, good luck with everything. For the first time, your smiles is infectious. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Yeah, they said that they were super close. So, oh, uh, but anybody can get into some really illegal shit and not be good anymore. Just because you were close before doesn't mean like things can't change. I'll get in touch once I'm out of the country safely. Saves the passport, breathing a sigh of relief, grabs a night of fillers and suitcase and head out tonight. You head to bed hoping that you can prize some way of duvet way without waking them. Hmm. So we're close, what do you mean? <laughs> well, it's like, uh, it was their brother, I think? Or was it, I, what? Yeah, it was my, well, it's weird because he has the same name as me, so it's very confusing to reference them. Oh, what up? Ah, oh, oh, let's party, yes! There we go. Let's get set up and get on with it, eh, so I can get back to my guests. First of all, let's get the power on. You need to get at least the bottom four plugs on. Right, let's load up the adverts. You know, load the tapes under the desk. Look down. You've Shut the fuck, bro. Is, is, is he gonna harass me? Every day, well, should we play this? Is is this toy safe? I'm gonna have to look at that one later. I gotta see what M Mr. Snuggle Hugs does. You can see they finally got the old headline system up and working again, and the vision mix is already in headline mode because headlines always come at the start. It's really simple, mate. These two buttons at the bottom of the vision mixer, you can see they now have A and B on them, and they're to help you pick image A on the left bottom screen here image B on the right bottom screen here it's really simple this little clock here will count down the number of seconds you have to make your decision provided you make a decision in that time you're fine and you can change your mind as much as you want until the clock reaches zero but if you don't make any decision you'll be fired before you even get to make another choice I just want to say one more thing God, damn the pictures you choose to show of these people well that's how the public is going to perceive them and that's going to affect their lives. So like with the adverts, choose carefully. No, and we're no, off. Good luck, mate. Before you get time, I'll call you back in the next break. Yeah, I'm coming, darling. My friend Janet says Thursday's going to be hot. Is this Janet who thinks dogs have their own secret language? Yeah, the one that Mr. Justin What? Ten seconds, everybody. Dogs that have their own secret Huh? Don't blame me when it explodes. Going in five. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight. Destination unknown. At the end of Advance's first full week in office, we ask exactly who's leading this charge. Tonight, I'll be discussing what the new future might hold with a leading economist and radical free thinker. With the Assets and Wealth Act on the brink of raising living standards for the vast majority of the country, I'll be asking my guests if we're on the way to a new future. Out with the old, Remington's Fist have appointed Sophia Remington as their new CEO. The following photo, taken from our archive, gives us a sense of this... <laughs> you can put a gambling photo up the there? ...the age of 23, becomes the youngest female CEO in history. Sophia Remington... Uh, gambling is not a bad thing if you're top of responsible. University ...and graduated with the highest honours, immediately being asked back to lecture. The markets have responded favourably to Sophia's appointment, with stocks rising 30 points in light of the announcement. In her first press conference this afternoon, Sophia announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehouse. Sophia promises it will be all the rage this Christmas, but concerns have been raised about the product's safety. Making a splash. Intrepid scientists mm. Dr. David Wong and marine biologist Ingrid Swarsborg and Horgensford have today set off to explore Dante's taint. The what? The recently discovered cave system was previously thought unreachable, but thanks to a new breakthrough in underwater flower technology, the plan okay. has successfully reached this seems the imposing fine. central cavern and the undiscovered plant species it contains. This is, okay. of course, only the latest in a series of successful expeditions for this unlikely pairing. In a joint statement about the dangers their team might face, the pair stated, We will face the plentiful challenges together like we always have. Alright, alright. Playing the field, 
Rumours abound as sporting legend Johnny Hansleaves is snapped leaving Bush, one of the capital's hottest clubs. Sports personality of the year last week, as reported by this very program. And judging from the angle and velocity of that spray, it looks like Johnny may have been celebrating a little bit too much. I certainly wouldn't want to be his dry cleaner. And grievous bodily charm. With advance promising a radical new position on crime, how afraid should we actually be? I'll be going live around the country to talk with people who've seen the criminal justice system from every perspective. With more and more powers passing to the police, and less and less oversight. Yeah, that's the that's the yeah. There we go. To crack a nut. All that I wonder if he would have acted a little racy if I did the other one though. Experiencing the positive huh. side of the new assets and wealth act firsthand. They'll be talking and performing later. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Ah. Oh, gotta make sure it's good. 10 out of 10. In the wake of the government's swift enactment of the Assets and Wealth Act, we're talking about advances. Yeah, he's got he's got a, the jawline, that guy. Holds. Joining me are Katie Brightman, a leading economist, and Alan James, author of Alan James is Right, The Free Man's Guide to Waking Up. Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels on delivering some of the legislation they promised. But what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. We're still vassal slaves. We're just in prettier cages. A confident dismissal there. Katie Brightman, do you agree? I'm afraid I don't, no. I think that Vance have realised that the current economic system of unlimited, unending growth is untenable, so they're changing things up. There I agree with you. They're moving to the next steps in the grand plan. Grand plan, Alan. It's all in my book. Alan James is right. <laughs> Where are you, Paul? That the great herd. It's a, <laughs> it's a fucking giant thing of a space. Or perhaps Advance have just realised that if we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption. If you'll excuse the colourful metaphor. <laughs> yes, orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in my book. Alan James is shamelessly self-promoting. Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Advance are the most disruptive threat that the world powers have faced since the last great war. Yes, Katie's right. War is inevitable. Thank you, but that isn't And this I'm... will not be a war like we've ever seen before. We're talking millions of deaths. We're talking high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking... Out of the wrong orifices? Mock me all you like, Jeremy. But when they murder your parents and they poison your food and they take you away to their camps for hypno-brainwashing, who will be laughing then? That might be a great way to sell books, Alan, but you know full well that isn't going to happen in a democracy. Democracy is dead. Yes, advance are radical, and change is always frightening. But the truth is that the wealth. I feel like he's gonna swear. Ninety like, percent of the population. He's gonna lose his and mind. On target to produce a permanent end to poverty. Bollocks! What this young lady doesn't understand, Jeremy, is that these are the same people. We can't even say bollocks. Branded, but it's all a little circus. What the fuck? From seeing a tyrant behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've mobilized the youth vote like we've never seen before. You say mobilize? I call it grooming. The grooming of an entire generation to walk happily into eternal bondage. They're like psychic pedophiles. But based on the facts, Katie, what are your positions? The Assets and Wealth Act is only the first uh. step. Advance now have a historic budgetary surplus, and as well as properly funding our public services, they're already un they're already funneling unprecedented amounts into scientific research and the arts. Or, as I call them in my book, give <laughs> this dude in this fucking book. Like opiates, see? Can we get back to the issue at hand, please, Alan? This is the issue. It's all coming from the water, the chemicals. They're pumping it full of balloons. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy's Alex Jones, dude? It's only if they're sustainable. If Advance lose their power after spending half of our GDP on dismantling infrastructure. That could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got a sack here talking about their puppet show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan, um, what does the future look like to you? 
a bleak space where we've all been figuratively sodomized into submission. No, of course. Katie? We might be on the eve of a brave new world. God knows we need some change, but we need to be cautious. Let's walk forwards with our eyes open. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. When we come back, I'll be investigating law and order before Meghan meets some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. That's all coming up tonight on the National Nightly News. One minute back. You know, I think they might do some good. I hope so too, Jeremy. How much are you being paid by them then? Shut the fuck up. Oh, no, I've never heard really of shit. shit in my life. Really yeah. really <laughs> well, we'll see you swallow <laughs> shit, won't we? Alan, I can explain Oh my god, Borlax, how could I you? I can't understand it for you. Well, I don't know what she Are they talking about that. water? <laughs> Let's say it's all you to wash your face. Welcome back. In our second segment, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the state of law and order in our country. Advanced they are calling a solutions team to move this serious social problem to the top of the list. Tonight, we go behind the headlines to meet the people who live with the oh, criminal justice system every day of their lives. First up, we have Gregory Jones. What? That was, oh man, they was like the wavelengths were long, wrong. Damn it. Can you hear me, Gregory? Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. What's it like on the front line of the hard face of the cold hand of justice? Well, as you can imagine, Jeremy, we are massively understaffed in this country. Uh, we're working every this guy looks like an evil villain. To try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with demand, Jeremy. Who the hell's that? There isn't enough being done at a systemic level to relieve the problem. Right. We need more support from ministers. We... What are you doing? Well, we need change at a structural level, I'm Jeremy. Who is that? Greg. Not a good time, darling. It never is, is it? I'll be at my mother's. Just hang oh. on. Oh. Oh no. The, the problem isn't a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. Just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, have you mentioned your affairs? No. Oh. Well, uh, the affairs of the Justice Department that we should be concerned about. Hello, Mr. Donaldson. Hello, Mrs. Judge. We need. Uh, we need legislation to relieve the pressure on our public service. Sorry servant. to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving him? Yes, I uh, totally mm -hmm. understand. Yes. Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector there. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. Next, I'm joined by Police Chief Constable Bob Peel, a man with a very I'm going to have to listen to this later, dude. <laughs> i got to listen to that. The system, Bob? Oh, I'm sure we all do, Jeremy. I'm sure we all long for a return to the days when you could safely walk the streets of your community at night, looking in through windows and generally enjoying your neighbours without the risk of being terrorised by some thug with a knife. Uh, or cosh. So you feel the streets simply aren't safe anymore? Where have we gone wrong, Bob? Well, that's not a simple question, Jeremy, but I think it all comes down to moral decay. We've diluted our culture and lost touch with what it means to be a citizen of this once great country. Also, as the vicar noted in Sunday's sermon, we probably shouldn't have banned hanging. And to what do you attribute this moral decay? Foreigners, gays and gypsies mainly. It's all in the Bible. Look, Leviticus clearly states that... Oh, what was that? Hang on a moment, Jeremy. Hold on. <laughs> Hold the what? Delia, could you give Hold me a little on. help, please, dear? Delia, could you give me a little help, please? Uh, as I was saying, Jesus didn't like immigrants much, did he? And just to be clear, huh, what? it's the immigrants who are responsible. I'm pretty sure he loved them. Absolutely, Jeremy. Uh, back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. Delia, I really could use a little oh. help with this. Oh, sorry, darling. I was staying the badgers. Yes, yes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Clive, could you put him back oh. in the box? Oh, Clive, you know it's Wednesday. Back in, back in your Oh, my God. What's she doing? I can't look. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the green line. I can't look at that right now. The decent, good, white people. Darling, where's the padlock? Oh, hold on just a moment. Oh, it's coming out again. Oh, the... Oh, oh, oh. Clive, I am not having this again. Mummy said, get back in your box. Naughty, 
You beast! As I was saying, Jeremy, moral decay. Crime is the moral decay, bro. No one else. Look, everyone has a sob story, but we don't all end up as barbarians, do we? Send to the screen. That's good news. Look at that. People are loving it. No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob, feel there. Really locking down the police's position on morality for us. And finally tonight, hopefully uninterrupted, it's time to get to the heart of the matter. Tony Dawson has recently been released from prison after serving three years for aggravated Happy birthday, Tony? And it's his birthday? He's agreed to talk to us today, which is also, I believe, his birthday. Many happy returns, Tony. Cheers, Jez. Call me Titwank, Tony. Everybody else does. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Can you tell us what it's like in prison, Tony? Titwank, Tony. Hey! Prison's a mixed bag. The structure's quite nice, but it's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. And obviously, titwanks are quite hard to come by. I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Tony. Titwank, Tony. Hey! Yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing me a surprise party. Good bunch of lads. Okay, well, we're going to get back to that party as soon as possible. That's why. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tit wank Tony! Way! I don't think it's as easy as that, Jez. I don't think it's as easy as that, Jez. It's open! Yeah, I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but uh, let's try and soldier on. Since leaving custody, have you been able to find a new job? Yeah, all the boys are here. Big Chris. Oi, oi. Little Chris. Big Chris. Oi, oi. Little Chris. Chris. What? This one's, yeah? Yep. One sec, love. Shit, my kid is on the news. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jess. It's just not set up for it, you know? It's inherently unjust. Open. So, do you feel tempted to... I'm sorry, who's this guy? Open. You are joking. Chrissy Freebollock has only got Mr. Fancy, oh. Uh, Not now, fellas, I'm on the news. It seems... It seems like we've caught you at a bad time. Little boy. Oh, I can't really hear you, mate. It's getting a bit busy here. Jesus. Yes, we uh, seem to be losing the signal there, no Tony. No fucking way, let's believe that! Well, we're just trying to get that signal back. I think we... <laughs> yes, Tony? Tony, I mean, we're literally away for two seconds. How has this happened, Tony? Two know? seconds. Well, we seem to have lost our train of thought there a little. Hopefully you, the viewer at home, have managed to gain a broader understanding of the serious and complex issues around law and order. After the break, Megan will be live with some plucky young thespians. Don't go away. We'll be back after these messages. One minute back, everybody. Oh, mate, I ain't got long and I'm quite drunk. It's been a great night. In this next section, there's a bit of music. If you edit in time with the music, you can see the result on the vision mixer, and the public will love that. Don't worry if you don't, though. You won't get punished for it or nothing. Just try and stay in the groove. Also, one last tip. When the music starts, turn down the broadcast volume. Right, enjoy the music bit. God, I love music. God, I'm so pissed. I think I might go and throw up in a bit. In this dressing room, probably banging his head against the wall. Look, it's all right, I've got this. I'm sure he's on his way. Come on, it's welcome back. How hard can it be? This is on you. <laughs> Ten seconds, everybody. We're going to open on <clears throat> Megan. Camera two. Why oh, are there so five, many people? So four, many people in there. Three. Welcome's Black, I'm Megan Wolf, and on tonight's Culture Spot, I'll be chatting with one of the first beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act, a team of inspiring young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College, who today received a grant from Advance to take their play, Hey, Friendship, on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet and Charlotte Winstanley-Hamilton. Girls, you must be thrilled. We are, Megan. We're overwhelmed, to be honest. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> overwhelmed. Sisters, is that right? Yes, yeah, Charlotte's my oldest. I'm the older, more popular one. <laughs> Only speaking. Harriet and Trey were really the ones who came up with the whole idea. So, Harry and I were shooting the breeze in the cafeteria and I said, hey, let's actually do something. So I went to look for a drama teacher. Uh, but she well, this guy looks so sad in the back. Was that me? Fortunately, 
I directed a pantomime when I was at university, so so I knew the ropes, as it were. Oh, right, yes, but you're the maths teacher, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's me, Jeff Algebra, maths teacher. <laughs> maths is really important. Oh, thanks, Steve. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. As is the essence. <laughs> it's one of the oldest art forms in history. And Oops. I just think that when we travel around all these problem schools and the poor kids see us, they say, hey, I really want to be like those attractive kids. And that's a very beautiful and powerful thing. We touch our audiences and they touch us right back. I suppose with a surname like Algebra, there was really only one choice of career for me. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, Angela, and I, we often laugh about it. <laughs> Where's your wife? Algebra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We just want to bring a bit of song and joy into people's lives. And teach people about the difficult issues. The issues in the play are what really matter. And oh. I think you're going to be showing us an extract from this play, aren't you? Yeah. That's right. To put into context, huh? I play a young first year who's having some troubles at school. Her character doesn't actually have a name, yeah? Because in a way, she's like all, all of us. <laughs> it's like a metaphor. Maybe she's you at home, or like, maybe she's you, Megan. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Got it in, Coach. Yes, thanks, Steve. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to... This fucking guy! Teacher ...while you run <laughs> off and get ready. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> That's it, that way. <clears throat> so, Jeff, when did you first hear about the grants? Uh, two days ago. A letter from advance arrived at the school. Now, Stop. the headmaster thought it was all a prank, but his secretary retreated from his bin and brought it to me. Wow, how did you react? I also <laughs> threw it in the bin. But then, yeah. Elliot and Trey rescued it, and uh, they, they, they rang the number at the bottom of the page, and next thing you know, we're on tour. Shit, he's wow. not the one talking. Well, I think we can all guess which way you'll be voting from <laughs> now on. Do you know what? It's funny, because Angela and I don't usually vote. We, we're not very political. I'm a mathematician, of course, and she's a paraplegic, mainly. But whoa, 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 what? DIY show back in the day, and so we thought, uh, why not? Let's what? Let's go with this whole democracy thing. <laughs> Okay. And here we bally well are. <laughs> Good stuff. Fucking brilliant. So let's have a look. I don't know. I didn't censor. Hey, friendship. Where, where am I supposed to be? Dear diary. I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. Oh my another God. I went down fears. so fast. Fears. Another day of fears. 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 But still I walk the corridors alone. Alone. Dreading what might be around every corner. What's around the corner? What the fuck is this? What's around the corner? Oh, hi Gary. Oh heavens no! It's Gary the Fist! Gary, Gary the, the Fist! fist. Uh, going somewhere, little first year? Great. I've been looking for some poor victim to bully all morning. But will this make me feel better about my violent father? Violent father. Excuse me. I'm late for math. <laughs> it's my favourite subject. And so important. Math is for losers. What? Math is for losers. My arm's stuck, coach. Keep going for fuck's sake. Right. Uh, uh, math is for losers. Now, give me your lunch money. Double lunch for me today, but why am I only truly happy when I'm eating? Not today, Gary the Fist. What do you mean, not today? Who are you? Oh, my arm's free coat. Brilliant, keep going. Oh, right, uh, uh, who are you to stand up to me? I'm Gary the Fist, and you're just a sad little <laughs> girl with two gay dads who's all alone. That's where you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two new friends. Vanessa is captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. But, but <laughs> why do you say it like that? All three of you. And I don't have any <laughs> friends of my own. Take a look at me. Take a little look at my face I could be you She could be you And you could be me Or you could be me 
Whoa, how do you get so deep? This is so bad! This is so bad! Hey, kids, I'm Gary the Fist. People think that folks like me probably shouldn't exist. But that's just prejudice, and I'd do better if you knew the way that I became Gary the Fist! Let's get this! On a council estate, the park was hip, but the flats weren't great. My dad used to come home drunk and late, and he'd hit my mum for dinner. He had to wait. Who was my dinner? I guess life's pretty hard on a council estate. 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 It's so damn hard on a council estate. Life can be cheeky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah, yeah. It's your choice to be me. It's my choice. So stop now. Make a different choice. Ah, I keep switching to him on accident. Well, thankfully, that's all we have time for tonight on the National Nightly News. Join us tomorrow night. For all the headlines <laughs> from across the country, my name's Jeremy Dalton. Have a peaceful night. And we're out. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> what the literal fuck was that? I believe. L. James. That was this is my L. James' is right book. L. James is right. I'm Alan James, and I'm Alan James, and I'm right. I'm right in front of you. I'm Alan James. Alan James. Keep my book. Alan James. Alan James. This has to be a, a play on Alex Jones. There's no way that it's not, dude. Alan James. Like, it's so. It has to be. An E? I did so bad at the last time. I did something real wrong here. Some rude words were broadcasted. I did mess up there. Yeah, I, I had a huge dip off here. Uh, an interference ratio, an exceedingly poor edit. Yeah, too much jump cuts, I guess. Full wages, still broke ass poor. Who? Cool. All right, we gotta go to these rushes. No, this is the I best part of the game. Kid, Mr. Fuckle Tugs or something? Snuggle hugs? That's the bastard. Yeah, I wouldn't get one of those. My friend Janet says theirs gets really hot. Is this Janet who thinks dogs have their own secret language? Yeah, the one that mistrusts the moon. Ten seconds, everybody. Mistrust the what moon? The of consumer advice, then? Don't blame me when it explodes. Going in five, four, three. Oh, that's okay. So then this. Yeah, I gotta hear the, the the divorce stuff, and this, and everything going on in there. All I that, hear. a mega move for the group of young actors who are already experiencing the positive side of the new Assets and Wealth Act firsthand. They'll be talking and performing later. 
That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Everybody, can we get the gets in quickly, please? We actually had to make the book indestructible because people tried to set it on fire too much. It is like Thanks for coming on. Bonfires Thanks for having sentences, me. But, oh, yeah. Alan Wait, he's so reasonable right now. He And he's saying that he had a, they, people tried to light his book on fire? No doubt you've read my stuff. I try not to, if I'm honest. Behave. You're not the boss of I me. I literally am. <laughs> Ten seconds, everybody. Going in five, four, three. Yeah, yeah, it's the next two. one. This is still, I, there's still stuff in this one. I want. In find. the wake of the government's swift enactment. <laughs> so he already knew about them. They already knew. I don't know if there's anything else other. Than Maybe there's stuff after. I'll be investigating law and order before Megan meets some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. That's all coming up tonight on the National Nightly News. One minute back. There we go. You know, I think they might do some good. I hope so too, Jeremy. How much are you being paid by them then? Oh, shut the fuck up, Alan. I've never heard so much shit in my life. <laughs> Well, we'll see who's full of shit, won't we? Alan, I can explain it to you, but unfortunately, I can't understand it for you. Damn. Well, I don't know what she oh, meant by that. Oh, shit. I don't know what she meant by that. <laughs> oh, God. These are fucking fantastic. Holy shit. I'm just so good. I can, that's all. all shit you will. She's good. You know she is. I've said a bit of word in. That's all I can do. Ten seconds, everybody. He's with all JD scared of the big bad culture with water. If that sticks, I'll just stay. He fucking crushed three. him. Or she crushed him intellectually. Welcome back. And I'll say. I want to hear what's going on here. He's getting ready. He's trying to look dignified. He's doing a little. First up, we have Gregory Judge, a lawyer who sees the problems close up on the front line. Can you hear me, Gregory? Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. What's it like on the front line of the hard face of the cold hand of justice? Uh, well, as you can imagine, Jeremy, we are massively understaffed in this country. Uh, we're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with demand, Jeremy. Uh, there just simply isn't enough being done at a systemic level to relieve the problem. Greg. We need more support from ministers. We... Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> we need change at a structural level, I'm Jeremy. I'm leaving, Greg. Not a good time, darling. It never is, is it? I'll be at my mother's. Just hang on. No, the, the, the problem isn't a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. J just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, have you mentioned your affairs? No. Well, it, uh, the affairs of the Justice Department that we should be concerned about... Hello, Mr. Donaldson. Hello, Mrs. Judge. We need... Uh, we need legislation to relieve the pressure on our public service. Sorry servants. to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving him? Yes, I uh, totally understand. Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector there. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. Next, I'm joined by Police Chief Constable Bob Peel, I a man with a very different perspective. I cannot believe you, Ellen. I would have expected this from your sister, but not from you. When are you going to realize I'm not her, Greg? Trust me, between the drinking and the arse, I'm very aware. Gregory Judge, thank you. I cannot believe you, Ellen. I would have expected this from your sister, but not from you. When are you going to realize? Fuck, dude. 
So he was with her sister, I guess, at some point. Maybe he fucking fucked her. Oh, my God. Holy shit. All right. Next, I'm joined by Police Chief Constable Bob Peel, a man with a very different perspective on our nation's crime. Do you think there's a problem with the system, Bob? I'm sure we all do, Jeremy. I'm sure we all long for a return to the days when you could safely walk the streets of your community at night, looking in through windows and generally enjoying your neighbours without the risk of being terrorised by some thug with a knife uh, or kosh. So you feel the streets simply aren't safe anymore? Where have we gone wrong, Bob? Well, that's not a simple question, Jeremy, but I think it all comes Breakfast down to is here, okay. decay. We've diluted our culture and lost touch with what it means to be a citizen of this once great country. Also, as the vicar noted in Sunday's sermon, we probably shouldn't have banned hanging. And to what do you attribute this moral decay? Foreigners, gays and gypsies mainly. It's all in the Bible. Look, Leviticus clearly states that... Oh, bugger, hang on a moment. Jeremy, it's such a, hip, such a perfect there. hypocrite. Delia? Delia, could you give me a little help, please, dear? Such a perfect hypocrite. Uh, as I was saying, Jesus didn't like immigrants much, did he? And just to be clear, you think it's the immigrants who are responsible for the moral oh, yes. decay? Absolutely, Jeremy. Uh, back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. Delia, I really could use a little help with this. Oh, sorry, darling. I was spaying the badgers. Yes, yes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Spaying Clive, the badgers? Oh, Clive, you know it's Wednesday. Back you go. Back in your gift space. And Off you go. whose responsibility is it to make a change, Bob? Well, it is in certainly go. not the responsibility of the decent, good, white people. Darling, this... where's the padlock? Oh, hold on just a moment. Oh, Clive! <laughs> the schnetz on too! Naughty, naughty, naughty boy! Mummy said get Clive, in your kids' I am not having this again. Mummy said get back in your kids' face. No! Naughty! You beast! You As I was saying, Jeremy, moral decay. Sit. Crime Sit, is the responsibility Sit. of the criminal. Sit. No one else. Look, everyone has a sob no. story, but we don't all end up as barbarians, do we? Look, when our daughter Alice comes home with an A minus, does she go on a killing spree? No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob Peel there, really locking down the police's position on morality for us. And finally tonight, I spoke to Mallory at the bridge club. It's time to get to the heart of the matter. She says the hall is absolutely fine for Sunday. Oh, marvellous. Now I've been... Oh, this this one was interfering. I spoke to Mallory at the Bridge Club. Uh, no, naughty boy. She says the hall is absolutely fine for Sunday. Oh, marvellous! Now I booked your mother in for a hearing test. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. Now, how's your IBS been? It all bell syndrome. <laughs> Birthday. Many happy returns, Tony. Cheers, Jez. Call me Titwa. Let's see if he says anything before. Right when it started, if he was saying anything beforehand, or if there are any noises. And finally tonight, hopefully uninterrupted, it's time to get to the heart of the matter. Tony Dawson has recently been released from prison after serving three years for aggravated assault, burglary, and menacing a swan. He's agreed to talk to us today. A swan? Also, I believe, his birthday. Many happy returns, Tony. Cheers, Jez. Call me Titwank Tony. Everybody else does. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Can you tell us what it's like in prison, Tony? Titwank Tony. Way! Prison's a mixed bag. Structure's quite nice, but it's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. And obviously, titwanks are quite hard to come by. I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Tony. Titwank, Tony. Hey! Yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing me a surprise party. Good bunch of lads. OK, well, we're trying that you get back to that party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tit wank Tony. He said he wouldn't call you that. Why are you so obsessed with being called that? He said he no. I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but uh, let's try and soldier on. Since leaving custody, have you been able to find a new job? Yeah, all the boys are here. It's big Chris. Oi, oi. Little Chris. Oi, oi. And Vampire Chris. <laughs> you can Vampire Chris. <laughs> I yeah. fucking love that. One sec, love. Shit, when Tony's on the news. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jez. It's just not set up for it, you know? It's inherently unjust. So, do you feel tempted to... I'm sorry, who's this guy? You are joking. Chrissy Freebollocks has only got Mr. Fancy, oh. 
Not now, fellas, I'm on the news. It's so it seems like we've caught you at a Hello. bad time. The little boy. Oh, I can't remember. Really <laughs> <hear it. laughs> Jesus. Yes, we uh, seem to be losing the signal no here, Tony. No fucking way, let's believe that. Well, we're just trying to get that signal back. I think we. <laughs> yes, Tony. Tony, I mean, we're literally away for two seconds. How does this happen, Tony? Can you hear me? This is so great. <laughs> One minute back, everybody. That went well. Piss off. Smooth, incisive journalism. I can have you fired. You'd miss my charm. All right, let's do this one now. I got to see what they were saying in the back. Like, what the fuck's going on? What is this? There's reactions to that. What was it? It was a Gary the Fist. Well, where is he? In his dressing room, probably banging his head against the wall. Look, it's all right. I've got this. I'm sure he's on his way. Come on, it's welcome back. How hard can it be? <laughs> this is on you. Ten seconds, everybody. We're going to open on <clears throat> Megan. Camera two. Going in five. Four, three. Welcomes Black, I'm Megan Wolf, and on tonight's Culture Spot, I'll be chatting with one of the first beneficiaries of the Asset and Wealth here. Act, a team of inspiring young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College who today received a grant from Advance to take their play, Hey, Friendship, on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet and Charlotte Winstanley Dash. <laughs> Is, is that right? Yes, Charlotte's... Hi, I'm not a one. Only joking. The Harriet and Trey were... Really the ones who came up with the whole idea. It doesn't look like anything's going on. Here, so we're going to fast forward till we get to, um... When the song is going. And he appears on screen. When did you first hear about the grant? Uh, two days ago. A letter from Advance arrived at the school. Now, the headmaster thought... It was all a prank, but his secretary retreated from his But then, Harriet and Trey rescued it, and uh, they, they, they rang the number at the bottom of the page, and next thing you know, we're on tour. Wow. Well, I think we can all guess which way you'll be voting from now on. Do you know what... They just the stuck him in a corner against the wall? We were They're so mean to him, dude. I'm a mathematician, of course, and she's a paraplegic, mainly. But we did used to watch that Peter Clements DIY show back in the day. And so we thought, uh, why not? Let's have a That's go with so this mean. democracy thing. Okay. And here what, we they talked? <laughs> Good stuff. Fucking brilliant! So, let's have a look at a short section of Hey, Friendship. Dear Diary. I'm not sure I can take another day at I think it eventually ends up being camera three. Gary the Fist. Do, 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 do. No, no one can really come up to where we're at easily. Okay, wait, here he is. He does not look enthused. Friendship! Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Well, thank you.
thankfully that's all we have time for tonight on the National Nightly News. Join us tomorrow night for all the headlines from across the country. My name's Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. And we're out. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> what the literal fuck was that? I believe that was art. I believe I've got a 14-inch cock, but it doesn't make it so. I have a similar belief about an adequate paycheck. Friendship! Oh, oh someone please get these twats out of my studio. Oh, man. Now, I want to look at the adverts. Specifically this one. Why is this? They, they pointed at this one out. Kids, so you much. love them, we love them, and they just love Mr. Yeah! With his state-of-the-art human-like voice to keep them company when you can't. If you keep me happy, I'll keep you safe. And his incredible real action eyes. I hope your mommy and daddy don't die in a fire. That would be bad. It's no wonder Mr. Snuggle Hugs is the gift your child wants this Christmas. All the other kids have got one. That's right, little one. You don't want to be left out. I only like people who have me as their friend. Oh, Mr. Snuggle Hugs, you're so silly. In stores now, selling out fast. Well, part of that it was like the it could explode. Maybe it was just a battery. But you don't want to be left out. I only like people who have me as their friend. Oh, Mr. Snuggle Hugs, you're so silly. You're so silly. Yeah, so silly, dude. So silly. Let's see, crazy. Fucking Alan, Alan whatever, James. James. I'm Alan James. Alan James. Alan James is right. Alan James is right. I'm Alan James. <laughs> that was Alan James I was right. right exactly how I thought it was going to be said. I don't want to scare you, but you should be scared. There must be something in the food! I don't want to upset you, but you should weep for the world. They're going to take your poor sweet grandma. And I don't mean to shock you, but... You need to wake up! I'm Alan James, and I'll slap you so hard with the truth, you'll still be picking facts out of your face the following Wednesday! Alan James, coming to a city <laughs> near you. Check Alan James! It reminds me of, uh, fucking the, the Charlie videos for some reason. Charlie! Crazy Neil's festive yuletide ornament spectacular! So you've got the best Christmas tree that your money can buy and you want to put on it some crazy ass Christmas ornaments. We want to give you a spectacular Christmas cactus. You know what it's like, you've run out of things to dress up and you I'm gonna, want your yo, house to I'm like going to recommend this to every streamer right now. The ornaments for you. You want something this like is such a good experience. Or another cactus to go with your first cactus. You haven't seen this, any of it at all already? Christmas frog or a toad. Woodpeckers, a cool pineapple. I'm gonna Done. Christmas elephant. We've got all the seasonal animals. Crazy deals. Crazy deals. This is a clear out of the storage locker that second Mrs. Neil abandoned, like she abandoned her children. It's a rainbow. Is that a booty? Fun. Don't be a prick and get yourself quick. Grab yourself a crazy deal with Neil Appeal. Our children are our future. Our future. Advance knows this, and we're here to help. The new Advance Go-Getters initiative will ensure that every young person enjoys the abundance of benefits that only a true community can provide, while keeping us informed of all the ups and downs to help make things even better. With a vast range of activities available, Seems like a normal commercial so far. has never been so rewarding. With the go-getters, you can be sure that your children will be well a, lock, in a chain march lock? towards progress. After all, there's nothing better than moving forwards. The advanced go-getters. Forwards. Together. Okay. I mean, it seemed normal. Is this the, the water one? Why bother strengthening your body, body. when you can strengthen 
your face. We believe your skin deserves the best, so the new formula actively removes harsh chemicals from your skin. The high salt content actually pulls the dihydrogen monoxide right from your pores. It's salt water? Brittle skin you've come to expect. The new Judico Shon will revitalize the appearance of the strength of your face's skin. 41% of women we surveyed said they loved their visible flakes. And seven out of ten so yeah, there's salt in it, so it dries the shit out of your skin by pulling all the water out of it. And it's terrible for you. So. Oh yeah, what a what a great what a great makeup brand. Only thing we hear that we missed. I was like, yeah, we didn't watch any of these. These could have been good. Hi, I'm world class sporting legend Johnny Hamlet, just... and I'm not fat, but you are. Don't worry, ladies. Now you can have me, Johnny Hamsley, right there in your lounge. <laughs> Ham sleeves? Johnny! Much time. Much time. Happy day. Me and the lads are playing well. The morning yawn. I'll take you through a proper match day workout with my two cracking assistants. Who knows? Within a few weeks, you could be as fit as them. <laughs> what are these moves? The nosy photographer. Did you know that fat people are less likely to laugh, marry, or live past the age of 26? These potentially true statistics are all terrifying. Potentially true. I like that. Yes, yes, potentially well. true. <laughs> the up and down jumpy, the welcome home Johnny. Every exercise is recommended by sports professionals and is 72% likely to get rid of those tricky tummies and cruel cellulite. Oh, the happy clappy slide yeah. one, the groupy boyfriend? What the fuck? Hey Yori. These fucking ads are wild, dude. Celebrate the classic age of salad with this exquisite limited edition collection. My Salad Weekly. Sign up now and every week we'll send you an authentic, ethically sourced ingredient to add to your salad. Build your collection week by week and very soon you'll have a salad that really gets the lunchroom talking. From tomatoes and oils to leafy greens and lovely grains, this it's really like normal, is, this is the normal commercial collection. Every issue also comes with a companion magazine that explores the history of the art form. Was that it? Wait, was that a cat arm? That explores the oh no, that was someone wearing a sweater. Every issue also comes with a companion magazine that explores the history of the art form. From the Great Balsamic Wars of 48, or Edward the Balsamic Wars of 48? Cucumber, to the man that changed the very way we see the humble salad, Julius Caesar himself. Start your... First of all, that's incorrect, okay? Incorrect. The Caesar salad was invented in Tijuana. Personal salad collection now, and we'll send you your first three issues. Loose leaf, remain, and iceberg. Plus this exclusive lettuce fridge magnet, all for just $7.97. With free postage and packing. Order now, That's and you'll receive this I don't think so. display case, free. That's right, absolutely free. With a retail value of $18.99, your crunchy cubes will look their absolute carby best. But don't delay. Well, there's a whole corn. Is available for a limited just, to just time. threw a whole cob on top. I don't think that's how salad works. Welcome to Crazy Neil's Crazy Pre-Christmas Sofa and Chair Deals. It's a steal with Crazy Neil. We don't care if you've been naughty or nice. We got green sofas, red sofas, brown cushions, pink cushions. You've got a grey sofa. We've got a great sofa. In a grey, a brown, a pink, a yellow, a purple. Neil I love, Deal. I like Crazy Neil. Neil. You've got people coming it seems like he's going to be a weekly you've got thing. Man. She's going to leave a stain on the sofa. You don't want to sit on this white sofa. She's going to have to sit on the dark sofa. This is a deal with Neil Appeal. 
You want to throw? Throw your money at us. We'll give you a leather sofa for a price that is just crazy. If you got lightning, strike it. Then strike whilst the lightning is hot. You got a disused sofa. We don't care if it's smelly, dug in front of your telly, full of welly. We'll take that shit away. Don't make a meal out of it. Make a deal out of it. We got a big ass deal on a big ass chair. We've got white chairs, blue chairs, stools, inflatable chairs. This is a crazy deal. We need a pill. You don't want no lame ass chair. You want a great yeah, no chair. Yeah, no lame ass chair. Chairs a man allowed. come down the other day and he brought in his young daughter and he wanted her to have the best chair. We got those chairs, we got more those chairs. We got tall chairs, chairs on wheels, wheelchairs. We got chairs to twist, chairs made out of steel, chairs that are steel and a deal. We got those chairs. You want crazy? We got crazy. Crazy deals got crazy deals. You want a toilet? We can do you a toilet. We can do you a toilet next to a chair. We can do you a chair next to a toilet. Hell, we can even do you a toilet chair. Do you come on down? You bring your ass. We got it. You want it. You want it. We got it. You want it. You pay us. You want it. We got it. You want it. You want it. We got it. You pay us. I wonder how many takes that took for this thing to record that. That was good. That probably took so many takes. Yeah, yeah. Was the, we're about to, after we finish the ads, Where we'll do. We'll take a break and we'll get we'll the beaches, videos in there. Clear waters um, and fine dining. Eat some food. Well, we're not sure, but here in St. Bumley on the Taint, we've got a big hill, and the bus comes twice daily. Visit picturesque St. Bumley this summer and experience a holiday that's simply unlike any. Why would you want to go here? This place looks terrible. Come and visit the abandoned spade factory. Your kids will love exploring the old production line of the, the, the factory that just grab makes shovels. Grab shots and come down today. There's no gift shop, but feel free to grab an old handle from the skip out the back. Or why not indulge your cultured side and visit some of our sites of historic interest, like the parish church, currently the subject of a thrilling police investigation, the old market, home of the fairly big cabbage, or the hall. Hey, fairly big nice cabbage. Hole. My cabbages. And after a long day exploring Bumley, you can relax in comfort in one of two communal tents. Or you could take advantage the of our tent. famous nightlife. There's a radio in the calf, or on Fridays we gather to watch tramps fight. Come on, Harold, you scruffy old meth head. Only 85 minutes from the coast, and with more than two areas of outstanding natural interest. Isn't it time your family went Bumley way? And hey, if you come in the dry season, you've got a car park. St. Bumley, on the tank. <laughs> I really like their taint references here, dude. Oh, there was another Alan James video that we missed? Oh, we gotta watch this. I'm Alan James. This is not a movie. This is not some child's tale. This is not a dream. This is reality. This is the story of you. This kind of like video thing asleep. reminds me of it's that like one Black Mirror episode, Ten Million Merits, but you ended up where like Satan they act purposely crap. crazy to make a it's show that's here. interesting. It's and happening they make now, money. and it's all happening right in front of you. I'm Alan James. Alan James is one of the country's most controversial columnists and speakers. And they're going to take your poor sweet grandma, and you're never going to see Dark. It's very difficult to explain, but it's grandma. amazing. Look at their faces. It starts off the tutorial, you're learning how to like kind of move shit around, you're like, oh, what I is, what's fine, whatever. But then you get into the stuff after the tutorial, and you look at like the background stuff. He's and all the ads the the and like other things and it's Alan it's James, so good Alan James and like wild is oh to my your god city. i'm alan james author of alan james is right the gospel according to alan james and and the alan james shall set you free and now i'm bringing my message directly to you with my new nationwide tour alan i think this james guy's a parody right. off of alex jones of alan james I'm Alan James. Alan James. Alan James is right. Alan James. I'm Alan James. Coming to a city near you. Check local press for dates and times. Oh, so that's that was his first book. He has two books now. Okay. All right, dude. This was oh my phone. This is a fantastic game. I love it. I might actually I might play more of it. But uh, we'll probably check it out on another day. Uh, this is so good. So great. Wow. I didn't... 
I, I, I expected like, oh, there's going to be wacky stuff in the broadcast is what I thought. And there's going to be all kinds of, this is going to be like a huge management thing, right? In the broadcast. But no, that's not what it is, dude. <laughs> I mean, it is, but like, there's so many things uh, after the fact. Oh my God. All right. Um.